race, not a pace. It's just a race, not a pace. I mean a pace, not a race. It's a pace, not a race. That's what I meant to say. That's about all they got left here is malt liquor. It's the only malt liquor they got left pretty much here. Fuck uh, steel reserve and OE. This is better than OE. It's the only one left in glass. Ain't no more of them. Got these cool 1993 football cards. I used to collect football cards from 1993. I quit collecting in like 90. 95 or 96, but uh, these are from 93. I think I started collecting football cards in 1991. I think I quit collecting in 96. McDonald's 93. Game day. Game day collector cards. Got probably over $400 in there at least. Paco Doomer, I want to give a shout out to you. Went to the store and I bought some Modelo Negra. Negra and Modelo. I bought the six pack at the store. I want to give you a shout out to Paco Doomer for this. Shout out to Computer Wiz. You're a cool cat. You're a cool dog. Cool cat. Keeping it fire. Keeping it 110. Expect nothing more or less from you. Only greater and better things. Decided to get the brims red hot. put lard in it. A really good shit right here. I'll tell you what, really good shit. Really good. Show's underway. My spectators and fans, even from Japan, I'm kind of People have me on their shit list, but I'm also popular or favorable, and people support me. There's certain people that support me, so I ain't, um, I ain't mad. Uh, I ain't no shame in here. I'm gonna keep on keeping on, baby. Rolling with the punches, rolling with the punches. Swallow the bullet. Sometimes you just gotta put your head between your, um, tuck your pride in. You know what I'm saying? No homo. You got a surprise. I got a big surprise for you guys tomorrow. In actuality, I actually have a big surprise for you pretty soon. <coughs> Screw all the chumps, all the trolls and haters and chumps, a bunch of chumps. That's about all they are. Pieces of dirt. Trash talk. Shit starters. Trying to get a reaction out of me trying to feed their egos because they're pathetic and they're trying to they're trying to suck off me or 
that didn't sound right they're trying to feed off my energy um, like a vacuum sucking all my energy and trying to make themselves look better in their behalf um, using my energy that's all they're doing trying to make me look stupid and by insulting me and um, down downing me just watch just watch one day I'm gonna have a babe I'm gonna have a chick in my life and she's gonna stand up for me and stick by my side and stick for me she's gonna root for me and be my cheerleader in my background and support me and she's gonna defend me and she's gonna back everything up she's gonna prove that I'm a really good person and I mean well I'm a hard-working American that's all there is to it and it's sad because although despite the fact I'm a hard-working American I don't have a house I'm still dependent on one of my parents to be, live on this be supported by but things things seem unfair some people call me a man-child there ain't nothing wrong with being a kid at heart I'm a kid at heart there ain't nothing wrong with that I'm a late bloomer there's people in their 60s that get married for the first time I knew a dude that got a girl pregnant and he was like 44 or 45 years old said I'm just going on 44 people take my kindness for weakness basically think I'm a pushover Jive turkey. I mean, I'm. I'm sure there's a lot of areas I can improve in and better myself. You know, and uh, there's probably probably a lot of things in life that I fuck up on, and I'm I'm, I'm a loser pitiful in certain regards certain things aren't my strong suit but I'm definitely not a um, um, I mean it's crazy some people think I'm just don't deserve to be in society like what the hell seriously really seriously like I'm around people all the time and I'm I've been around people since I've been born, straight out the womb, and I've never had qualms or um, um, discrepancies or um, glitches with people, man. I mean, I've had people look at me sometimes like, "Did you really say that?" You know, you, you know, treat me like I'm kind of weird in a weird fashion, but I'm not like. I mean, my dad used to say I needed tranquilizers growing up. I mean, my hormones were out of control. I was girl crazy. One time I was in the car with my dad and I was driving. This is the time I was trying to learn how to drive. And I put these away. My dad um, explicitly um, and um, adamantly said, uh, stop the car or stop. And I, I'm mistaken the... Um, um, I call that the uh, pedal or the a thrust gear, you know, the um, uh, well, I mistaken it for the brake, so I pressed on the brake instead, or I pressed on the gas the pedal, that's what's called the gas pedal, I pushed the gas pedal and I almost went through a boulder in the building, one time my dad said I was like looking at a girl and she was 
looked hot, you know, this hot chick. I was like 16 or 17. I just kept looking out the window and I wasn't paying attention to the road and I almost got in a crash. So my dad said he used to be scared driving with me when I was learning how to drive when I was like 16, 17. But he used to tell me I should be on tranquilizers. He used to tell me I should smoke to calm my nerves down instead of my sister. And I've never been a smoker. I mean, yeah, when I drink. Sometimes when I drink, you know, I like to uh, smoke. Um, you know, I, my roommate Steve, man, it'd be like midnight. Should I take sometimes at midnight? I take his cigarette, take some puffs, and I never. I'm not even a smoker, but I'd be so fucking drunk and buzzed and far gone. I don't give a shit. Back in the days. May we all be praised. Ha 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 ha. I got the Hillbilly Jim, man. Look at this. Hillbilly Jim. Check that out. Look at that. Look at that, man. Isn't that cool? I mean, that is cool as fuck. Like, look at that, man. I'm talking about. You want to mess with me? I'm going to tell you what. I'm, I'm going to tell you what. If you, you want to mess with old Todd. Kiss my honky ass, my white ass. I'm Hillbilly Jim. You don't mess with my friend Todd. Man, look at them guns. If you don't mess with Todd, you gotta go through me first. Real talk. It's my man, Hillbilly Jim. That's Hillbilly Jim standing up for me, baby, right there. I still got my Sammy the Snake back there. I'm going to give me a corn snake one day. I met this one dude, man. He has skunks for pets. <sighs> Mind you, skunks are really cute and precious. You know, you just want to, like, cuddle them, cradle them, cuddle them, and cradle them like they're a baby. But, like, man. <laughs> By and large... Pete's sake, they say skunks smell like skunk. And I don't personally, I don't even mind the fragrance, odor, aroma, and smell from a skunk. For real. But most people don't like a stench, but I don't care. I'm tolerable. I can take a lot. Shit, I got a skunk tattoo. I met the chick the other day. This chick, this girl had a skunk tattoo on her arm. I'm like, you're the first person I ever met that had one. She takes all kinds in this world. You never know who you're gonna, who you're gonna meet. For real. But skunks are cute, but I wouldn't have one as a pet. I'd rather have me a fucking corn snake. They're docile, easy to handle. I mean, they'll bite you. I mean, shit, a skunk's teeth are like that fucking tall skunks, man. They're like fucking weasels, man. Minks. Minks are mean, man. You ever seen a mink? Man, I love that show, uh, Turtle Man, Call of the Wild. I'll write that down. Turtle Man. That's a good show. That's legit. My next video, you guys are be stoked. You're gonna love it. I'm gonna go over my f actors that ain't chumps, that ain't whack. Most movie stars are whack. I'm gonna show you something secret or just give you a surprise. But uh, thanks for watching.